Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. <laughs> this is stage two, as you can tell by the door. Here we go. This one is more underwater than the first one, as you can tell by going underground immediately as the stage starts. And I believe I should be looking for a spear power up here. I recall that very, very vividly. So that's what I intend on doing. Hopefully there's a spear guy up here. There's a sword guy. Oh, Ow! There's a sword guy up here. Some fish that decided to commit suicide for whatever reason because they're on land when they could just flap themselves in water. I mean, they, they clearly swam through here and went onto the land. They wanted to die. So I, I guess I'll just leave them to their wishes. Anyway, uh, I, as I said, I'm still looking for a spear power up. Uh, I, I at least I think I'm supposed to be looking for a spear power up, or maybe it's later in the stage, or maybe it's another stage. I don't know. Uh, I don't need that candy, so I'm whoa. <laughs> so I guess I'm just gonna be leaving that behind and continuing on. And okay, more fish committing suicide. Come on, man, this is preposterous. But I will take this spark power up. That will be quite the delightful treats with my super powered shield and this guy is going to try exploding those are bombs if you couldn't tell uh, they explode when they I mean when you come close to them they like set a little timer for themselves and suicide themselves as well it's just hard to have good enemies nowadays I want to stick around to kill you <sighs> maybe that's why Kirby games are so easy all the enemies are waiting to kill themselves and I'm probably gonna have to take this guy to get an energy sphere or something, so I'm just gonna automatically switch right away. More suiciding fish. There's a fish that's nearly dead there. Poor little fishy, but alas, I must respect its wishes and finish it off a little faster. They can still hurt me on land anyway. But yeah, you see, you take the boss's power, and then you go straight to the next obstacle, which is typically an energy sphere obstacle. And wait, wait, that was a, that was a speared guy. Spear guy, not a speared. Why did I say speared? I don't know, but yeah, I bet you I need that. So I'm gonna lose my power there, respawn ye old B, and grab the spear. You can also use the spear underwater, by the way, pretty handy, I, I guess. I, I kind of like using the bubble that you get like by default over the spear underwater because of the fact that you have more mobility, but well, that's just me. <laughs> I don't really see any other use for the spear on the water. I mean, it's just, ah, no, my spear. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> well, that was convenient. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I need the dang spear, so that's why I keep saying spear. You're probably you're tired of hearing me say spear. Ah, that's where I need the spear. Boop, boop, boop. And this opens up. There's the door that I was thinking of. Now, what you can do here is kill off the enemies as you go through here. So I guess this spear is a little bit more useful in cases like this, where uh, the enemies are blocked in. You don't want to release them before you kill. I um, you know, otherwise they would be swimming around and bu bugging you the whole time. You get the idea. And there's energy sphere number two. And there we go. The hardest part of that was getting into the door, apparently. <laughs> uh, Let's see what else is coming up here. Pretty much nothing, just the Poppy Brothers Jr. What is... there's a star. There we go. Increasing my pocket, cha <coughs> pocket change. Oh no, this is a boot. It's got spikes on it, so maybe it's like a, a golf boot of sorts. You know, for swinging your golf club for grip on the ground. Uh, although these metal cleats probably would not be allowed onto greens. You'll only get that joke if you play golf. <laughs> Um, anyway, this is, oh, I forgot to mention how you jump off of enemies like I'm doing there. Um, you actually have to press the jump button as you're jumping on top of an enemy. Otherwise, you will not bounce off of, bounce off of it high enough as I'm doing here. It's, it's sort of like Donkey Kong Country Returns in that you have to do that little action to get a little more air onto your jump. But, uh just something worth noting here that you're gonna have to practice especially if you want to get this up here hurry hurry yes and hopefully I do not need the shoe in here okay I'm not gonna be able to use it in here anyway energy sphere um, oh I remember coming across here the first time and I was like 
oh man, I'm, I, I have a feeling something bad is going to happen coming into this area. I'm like, oh geez, what's, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? There's going to be something chasing me. There's going to be something going coming after me. There's going to be some spike wall of sorts. No, there's really no danger in this area whatsoever. I mean, there is danger, but it's not like what you would expect coming into a secret area for an energy sphere. Like, usually you would think that there's something guarding it, but... No, it's just a typical underwater area. <laughs> uh, I, th I believe this actually leads to the same area if you don't get to that secret energy sphere area that I broke through. So I guess that's the difference between areas. Hello there, and you are going to... Yeah, so yeah, I believe this does lead to the same area no matter which path you take, only the... Uh, oh, that secret door that I got up to with the uh, s golf boots was a... Uh, uh, up door to that energy sphere, you know, as a reward. And needless to say, that was the last energy sphere that I just got in the stage. That makes me very happy. And there's the end of the stage, guarded by a squishy, which didn't do a very good job of guarding the door. Goal game, here we go. I'm gonna fail again. Well, I suppose I'm not failing if I'm getting prizes, no matter which level I get to. But I still want that one. I want that one more than anything. Clearly, I don't have the timing. Which, which is pretty strange, too, because I'm pretty good at rhythm games. At least I at least I like to think I'm pretty good at rhythm games. <laughs> anyway, stage three. Here we go. And we're dropping into another underground cavern of awesomeness. Oh, I remember this stage. I really love this stage. Not only do you have these neato waterfalls that you break your way through, which is a pretty neat, nice touch, but also this is a, a high-speed water stage. It has not only air jets when you're in the air like this most of the time, but also underwater currents. So you're constantly reacting to things later on into the stage. It's really, really cool design, and I really love playing the stage a lot. I just hope I, oh, I don't mess up on like that right there, because I've seen that block off to the left, and I, I think I missed something there. I, I'm going to restart the stage and cut over to that spot, just to be sure. Okay, I'll see you then. Man, that was quick. We're back right over here and go duck to the left. Oh, that was a complete waste of time. All it was was for this. Oh, wait, actually, that is actually very good. The hammer power up. Freaking powerful power we got here. Okay, we got cherries that aren't worth it in the slight. Well, maybe they're worth it. Let's see if I can duck in there and grab it. Okay, that works. Just wanted to fill up my health a little bit there. And through this door. Oh, oh yeah, this is the switch area. You don't have, there isn't any real pressure here, uh, unless you count water pressure. Just, you can actually swim against the current. Oh, I lost my hammer. That's not good. That is not good in the slightest, but, oh, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Why did I think I wasn't going to hit get hit there anyway? Go, 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 ah! What is this door? I'm curious. So curious, I must enter that door and even phase through the floor so much in my curiosity. Um, betcha I have to, like, eh! Oh, I got unlimited shots at this unless I run out of energy, so... Yeah! That's how it's done. But that wasn't really much of a reward, actually. I got 17 lives. This is turning into, like, new Super Mario Brothers Wii. Only not quite to that extent, but still, I have a lot of lives. <laughs> Usually the most dangerous route is the route that you want to take for prizes. So that's what I'm going to be doing here, and hopefully not getting skewered. Those were terrible prizes, and I would have definitely preferred going over it. <laughs> But I guess I got another extra life for doing so, so I guess that wasn't too much of a loss. Oh, 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 pay attention to... No, wait, do I have to pay attention to this? I'm pretty sure I have to pay attention to this. Um... Like, you see wherever there's a um, intersection? That, you're gonna switch directions at those places. And you have to pick a route based on... Um... Whichever... Well, there's a, there's one that has an energy sphere. I'll just show you how it works with this one. Like, you see, now it's going to open these paths. Every time that there's an intersection change in the center, it's going to push you towards it with those where the blocks disappear on their own. 
and one of these you're going to have to uh, navigate by looking as you're going upwards for an energy sphere, and I picked the wrong one completely. I suck! <laughs> I got a Barracuda for a prize, and that's not much of a prize. Um, do I have to be on the lookout? No, I don't. Oh, to uh, break apart these maximum tomato crates, all you have to do is just throw them, and then they'll break apart on their own, usually, once they hit the ground. There we go. Like that, they aren't really much of a problem to break apart, but it's just uh, things you have to know how to do. As it's like they don't break apart with powers, which I always found pretty strange about those crates. I mean, why would they break if you just toss them, but not if struck by an energy blast or a sword? You get what I mean. <laughs> um, anything that I should be aware of? around here no just some cute little water guppies of sorts flopping around in the water oh no i think i'm just gonna use some charged beam shots for mondo here because he's very 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 slow i'm almost embarrassed for him <laughs> yeah and i think he's gonna get a little nah it's still pretty slow i guess for a rock he's fast i mean most rocks can't move so I guess that's why he's like the boss of all rocks, but unfortunately he's still very, very slow. I'm probably going to need the power, so I'm stealing it, and well, I guess I'm not stealing it, I'm sort of robbing its life energy of sorts. Uh, I bet you I need, to, need it to go down here, don't I? It's like, you know, you don't need your life energy, so it's not necessarily stealing it after you're dead. You get the idea. Hello, energy sphere! Woo! And that, that was indeed the first one, so this is going to be a long stage. <laughs> At least that's what it's feeling like. Um, oh, this is the one that I was thinking of, where you have to watch the path carefully. Okay, which one is the energy sphere? I'm going to try and go through it slowly and see where I want to change the paths. Eh. Okay, it's going to go that way, that way, that way. And, oh, whoa, 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 that way, that way, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, the right side, it's the right side, I hope. It better be the right side, otherwise I will be a very sad panda. Oh, please be the right side. <laughs> eh. Stop getting in my way, enemies, I have energy spheres to collect. I don't even know why you want to kill me anyway, you just seem to be happily swimming in your home. And then I kind of kill you. Maybe that's maybe that's the issue there, is that I killed your friends and you're just exacting your revenge. You're not doing a very good job of it so far though, so. Alright. What oh, this is the air current slash water current area that I love so much in the original. Oh, in the, what am I saying in the original? I, I, well, I should say in my original description of this level, that's what I was thinking of. There we go. Be on the lookout for energy spheres as you go. Fight against the currents. You know what? I'm going to lose my rock power because that is just not working for me. <laughs> uh, oh, uh. Okay, I was a little worried that I was supposed to take the bottom route there, but that was not the case. React properly, Kirby. Oh my goodness. <laughs> to jump out of the water, just push up while uh, pressing the jump button and there wasn't really any good prizes there oh i just love the design of that area it's just either water current or i should say rushing water or air current hello there i would like you you are very tasty and very powerful it's another monster flame superpower well it's called a super ability oh these guys you can only destroy when their when their mouths are open, watch us. See their mouths aren't open there. Now when their mouths are open, you can destroy their inner innards, and you're basically disemboweling them, and then they just collapse on top of each other. They're just like a moving obstacle that's not really a very good obstacle. <laughs> just clear out everything along the way, taking advantage of your range as much as you possibly can. Woo! Well, the whole screen is pretty much your range, so how can you not take advantage of that? <laughs> oh, I missed the third one. Oh, and I was too late to get the third one. I'm whining. <laughs> there we go. And now that makes me happy. Continuing on, we got this rope, which is going to squish those giant waddle -dees. Well, it's, it's like a triple waddle dee in a giant waddle dee suit. I don't know what the heck they are actually. What, I mean, what the heck they're called, so to speak. Um, 
So, oh my, this looks like a pretty dangerous corridor, of which is not actually dangerous at all if you time your fire correctly. <laughs> Since there's no squishing problems here whatsoever. And... I think that was a pretty successful run I had there on those moving critters of different sizes. Um, let's see. Oh, there's this octopus panicking underneath this ship. And if you go underneath it, well, you don't have to go underneath it. It's just, it just kind of opens up on its own. <laughs> and there's the portal that you're looking for for the last two energy spheres of this area. This was a really long level. Wow. Anyway, we now we're swimming through reverse cubes of water. I don't know what the heck you would call these. It's like hollow water. Maybe they're like water bubbles, but I've never seen bubbles that are square. But it doesn't have to make sense. This is Kirby we're talking about, dang it. And I am rushing way too much because I took that hit. That is not something that I would normally take a hit on. <laughs> oh, 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 go, go, go. Good. Um, yeah. I think I'm going to do like a combo shot there and try and clear the way as best I can. Uh, yeah, that's gonna have to do. Always plan ahead your shots of giant stars like that. Uh, like, look ahead of what you're shooting at to see if you can clear as much out of the way as possible. You can always combo attack whenever you collect two or more en enemies or objects. Like, see, this is gonna clear the way through here. Now watch this. This is, this is really cool right here. Grab another block, get in the water, and I'll shoot a second star through it. Now it's going to keep combo attacking two stars at the exact same time. And over here, you can get another star going for... <laughs> it is quite ridiculous, I have to say. What is through here? What's behind there? Oh, it's not that important. And let's see what we got. Spear or umbrella. I'm going to have to go with spear on this one. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do the umbrella. Well, it's called a parasol, but still. A parasol is an umbrella. Re the reason why I'm going to do it is just because I haven't been using the umbrella much. <laughs> and I want to show off how much better the umbrella is in this version of the game than it was in other games. Because remember I said that there was a bunch of improvements to different powers, and I do like the umbrella power up now. Ooh, ah! Oh, I almost hit him. It's pretty hard to hit uh, Sphere Doomers when they're charging from the background into the foreground like that. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna do absolutely nothing! Wah! And there we go. Flawless victory with the umbrella. Kirby is delighted. We are near the end of the stage. There's a maximum tomato. Gotta eat up our veggies. It'll keep us healthy and strong. And... Woohoo! Going through here should be the door. Voila! And I'm gonna fill out the goal game one last time before this part ends. Ugh! Oh, I made it up to two this time! Alright, I hope you enjoyed this part, and I'll see you in the next part when we do Stage 4. And I unlocked another copyability room. Very handy.